हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एजुकेटर्स डॉट कॉम आई एम प्रीति राठी आई हैव टेन इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन डेवलपमेंट एज वेल एज एन इन ट्रेनिंग आई एल बी टीचिंग यू द सी प्रोग्रामिंग सो लेट्स बिगिन द कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी कवरिंग टॉपिक्स लाइक historical development of c language importance of c language then we'll check out how to do installation of turbo c that is nothing but editor for c language then we'll check out first c program when we talk about historical development of c language initially we had languages like assembly language and machine language which was in zeros and ones so it was very efficient but difficult to work in zeros and ones so development debugging maintenance was very difficult so there was a need of a language which will give efficiency as well as ease of programming then in 1960 we had language called as algol developed by international committee but it was too general and abstract in 1963 we had language called as cpl developed by cambridge university it was difficult to learn and implement but when we choose any language we need balancing in efficiency as well as ease of programming so then we had language called as bcpl developed in 1967 by martin richards at cambridge university but again it was dealing with some specific problems only then we had language called as b in 1970 which was developed by ken thompson at at&t it was again dealing with only some specific problems so there was a need of a language which can be used for all purpose so in 1972 denis ricci at at&t develop language called as c which can solve all problems efficiently as well as it is easy to learn c language now what is importance of c language so first of all we'll check out few features of c language that it is a structural language now what i mean by structural programming is it is a programming paradigm aimed at improving the clarity quality and development time of a computer program by making use of subroutines blocks loops etc now how to use loops blocks and subroutines that will check out step by step again c is called as middle level language what i mean by middle level language that it is it is having ease of programming like higher level language but again it has efficiency like lower level language so c is called as middle level language c is used efficiently for developing compiler operating system electronics devices network drivers language interpreters text editors etc so now when we have so many higher level languages like java but still when we want to develop something like operating system we have to come back to c language so today also c has its own place we have different editors for development of c program like eclipse cdt turbo c bloodshed dev c++ code blocks netbeans ide microsoft visual studio express code light as well as borland c++ in this tutorial we'll be using turbo c for developing c application for installing turbo c you can use the link provided it is freely available so we can download and execute that file to get turbo c installed after installing turbo c you will find a folder called as turbo c3 in c drive which has a folder bin inside bin we have tc application so just double click on this application click on ignore 
will get editor open now for our first application we'll go to file and click on new in this editor we can type our application the first line of c program will be hash include stdio.h and hash include ponio.h these are the header file of c language hash include is a directive which is saying that add the content of this files into our application stdio.h and ponio.h has most of the functions used for c programming so we are first including these two header files in our application so that in my class in my application i can use functions from this header file c program starts with the main method means main is the entry point of any c application void is the return type which says that this function is not returning anything main is a function this curly bracket is a start of application that is start of function and this is end of function first i will call a function called as clr scr it is a built in function present in conio.h header file it will just clear the screen then i'll call printf function printf is to display something on the console we will display just hello message message is kept in a double quotes as it is a string printf is a function present in stdio.h header file then i'll call get ch this is again a built in function present in conio.h header file this function will retain the screen till some character is entered it will read the character without displaying on the console so in this application we are calling get ch just to retain the console screen so this is our first application now the next step is we need to compile the c program so we can directly go to compile or we can click we can have alt f9 press now you can see after compilation we got zero warnings and zero errors so press enter then we'll execute the application to execute application we can click on run or we can use control f9 now you can see the output is hello which is displayed on the console to go back to the editor we can just enter and the screen will appear now if i want one more statement to be displayed on the console so i can use one more printf function say how are you if i want to display this next line on a new line then i can use some escape character for new line we have backslash n there are uh, there is some list of escape character that will check out later now sometime even i can go for directly running this application if i run it directly still initially it will compile it and then it will execute so now you can see on console we got hello and how are you displayed on a new line i would like to point out that main is a entry point of our application it starts with this curly bracket and ends with this curly bracket every function call should end with the semicolon ja c is a case sensitive language so we cannot have capital p over here this function is with the small case clr scr is a built in function in conio.h as well as get ch is also present in conio.h printf is present in stdio.h 
that is to display something on the console. So here we will end our first session. Thank you.